everyone today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can read external config file in python generally we use external configuration file to read some values which may need to change frequently like a username password or anything that requires frequent change if we read those values from external config file we don't need to change or modify our code every time to change those values so now let's start first i'm going to create config file so new file give the name external that config as this configuration file will be in the json format i'm going to start with the curly bracket so what i'm going to read from the external config file is username so what will be the value in the username so that will be test string this is for the test purpose so next value i'm going to read from the config file is password so this will be the password next value i'm going to read from the config, external config is email So we can add any number of uh, external config values. So for, for now, we are going to just uh, read username, password, and email receiver from the external config file. So we have create, uh, completed uh, creating the external config file. Now we, we are going to read these values uh, for using the Python code. So for this, I'm going to create one Python file. So and give the name is read config. So while reading the config, first I'm going to create a main function. So for this, so this will be the main function, and I'm going to create the separate function config read. For that, I'm going to call that function from here. So this config read function. Uh, now I'm going to create this config read functions. And if so now I have defined the config read functions. So first I'm going to specify the file name. So it will be the external config. This is the uh, file name from where we are going to read those values Con external config file name now i am going to define the contents variable In this content variables i am going to read uh, those config file so for, for reading those config file first we are going to open it so for opening the file file name and then we are going to read this so it reads the uh, data and it stored it in the variables called as content now we are going to define this config variables so we will be using the evaluate function EBL, uh, in the python so this is the built-in functions it evaluates the specified expressions and also it also accepts a source of strings so here it accepts the content strings and uh, returns it in the object format so for for this we are going to write that it so this is the built-in uh, python functions so what we are going to read is that contents so that is already stored in the contents variable now all our required variables uh, from this config files now are stored stored in the stored in our object stored in the object format in this config variables so now we can uh, read any of our required value so first i'm going to uh, read username so it is stored in the object format with the name username so this value should be same as that we have defined here so uh, for the username we have give the keywords username so this should match with the config file name so in this username now uh, the values present in this username that is test123 at the rate gmail.com is now stored in the username so similarly in the pass for the password so this is the email receiver
so so all the username password and email receiver now are uh, stored in these variables uh, from that uh, so we have already uh, read those values uh, from the external config file so for um, for the example or the, for, uh, for example we can print those values to confirm whether they are stored in those variables or not so we can print the username we can print a password So we can print email receiver so and also we can return uh, these values so we have read here username uh, password and email receivers and email receiver so that whenever we need these values username password and email receivers so we can call this con configured functions and this will return the username in uh, password and email receiver so by reading those values from the external config file so Let's run this code. Sorry. So uh, it shows that the values we have is specified in the external configuration file not found in the code. So uh, as I said earlier, these values, this uh, this variables name should match with the value we have uh, right in the config file. So let's read on this. So it prints the username, uh, password, and the other, other email receivers we have given in the con external config file. So whenever we need to change that username, password, or email address, we can we don't need to open this kind of file, uh, this code, or we don't need to modify this file. So we can simply change those values from the con external configuration file, which is more manageable. So uh, now let's uh, suppose if, uh, we the, we are going to uh, change the receiver as the every one one two three uh, test. So and then we if we run this code again then this updated value will appear here so uh, in the case where uh, you are going to uh, read uh, you are going to supply that uh, use username password like this um, value so, so don't specify those in the don't hard code those in the code itself so write those into the external configuration file and uh, read those value from using this uh, using this code so that uh, we don't need to modify our code so this is all uh, uh, for the configured part so if you have any concerns or questions or queries regarding this config file so you can leave your comments uh, below so for the upcoming tutorial uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channels thank you